Hi, this is Roger Newcomb, live on the set of Gotham, and I'm here with eight-time Emmy nominee and two-time Emmy winner, Martha Byrne. Hello. And the beautiful and talented Ann Sayer. Thank you. So, Martha, I wanted to start with you. Mm -hmm. Since leaving As the World Turns in 2008, you have done a lot of, well, you've done some acting, theater, mm -hmm. general hospital, but you've also done some behind-the-scenes work. Mm -hmm. You produced an independent film. Yes. Or you produced a short film with mm -hmm. Paul Leiden. Uh and now you're right, you've written for Bold and the Beautiful, mm -hmm. and now you're producing, writing, and starring in Gotham. Can I take you everywhere I go? <laughs> just like, it's like before I go into the, before I walk into the KFC, can you just like <laughs> introduce me that way? That's fantastic. Um, What's it like being on the set of Gotham, knowing that you <laughs> wrote the show, you're producing? Is it extra stress for you? I'm really not under any stress. It's just I, I have I have some wonderful people working on the show that. I, I have to uh, stop myself from multitasking. It's kind of in my blood to like try to control a lot of different things. So I am trying to just let that go and let the, everybody do their roles, mm -hmm. so that we can just focus on the work. You know, just the acting part of it, which is you know in the in the end of this, that's the most important aspect of the whole production. Right. So was it important to you to surround yourself with people you were familiar with and had worked with before? Absolutely. I mean, and Lisa Brown and I talk every day, and to this, and we've worked together on many projects together, you know, writing, and, and she's just an incredible talent. And, and Anne, you know, we've always kept in touch since we worked together, and we loved working together. So I, I've always wanted to work again. And, you know, when you leave a show you've been on for so long, you think you know, the sadness comes over you. Oh, you'll never get to work with these people again. You'll never get to see them again. And that's not true. It's just maybe in a different way. So that's how this kind of all came together. Right. So, Anne, yes. uh, so fans probably know you best as Mitzi Matters from As the World Turns. And yes. uh, Rose and Mitzi, Martha played Rose, you guys had immediate chemistry on the set. And, and you, you stayed several years as Mitzi. Um, how is the chemistry different now that you're starring on Gotham with, with Martha? You could just answer that. She's got a good, she's got a good perspective on it. I yeah, I mean, um, for me, I was sort of going into this wanting it to be different, knowing that the our natural chemistry, professional chemistry, was going to be there, but I wanted the energy to sort of be different, you know. Um, and so I wasn't exactly sure what this was going to be, but I knew what I didn't want it to be. And what it wasn't going to be was, you know, Mitzi's whole thing was um, admiration. That was sort of my inner dialogue all the time. I loved Rose, admired her, wanted to be her, wanted her to be happy, you know. Um, that was always my motivation. Um, and this character, I think, is a little bit more self-interested. Um, though there's still a love there. You know, I, I don't want it to be to come off. You know, I think that's where the chemistry comes from is the actual affection that we have, mm -hmm. or anybody has, when you're doing a uh, partnership of any kind, friendship, romance, whatever. You know, you have to have the love between you. And Lisa Brown was saying the same thing. She said, you know, you you already have the chemistry. It's like working with Michael Park. It's like you already have a love for him in your life, so you right. don't have to try to show the audience your love it's there you know it's just innate in your in your body so mm -hmm. don't try so hard and i think that's been the biggest challenge on this particular show is the um yes <laughs> speaking of <laughs> i'm over here tearing up <laughs> don't cry, hi michael hi everybody uh, how are you good yeah would you like to take over? may i sure. what is this, this is okay. great we love soaps <laughs> Oh, yes. I love a parade. Mm. I'm going to tell you the reason why the camera is so high is because they don't have shoes on. Yeah. Just thought it. See, Woo. it's freezing outside. <laughs> I just love what you're doing with your lesbian story. Thank you. And the fact that you're bringing it to the, the internet <laughs> is outstanding. So, how long have you been lesbians? Oh. <laughs> uh, when did you? When the story is going. When did? When did you come up with this concept? Do you even know when you yeah, came up with the no, concept? I, I, Alex Rolsvig, you know, Alex yes. Werner Rolsvig, yes. and I, and we were... Who's we were, not here, who should be Who here. should be here, but she's in Long Lake, New York. Should be watching this. Taking thing. care of the town and showing it how it's done. Right. Um, fantastic writer, and we just were in love with soap opera and, and Guiding Light, and we talked one day about characters we wanted to see. This was like right. over a year ago, and we just kind of, we came up with the concept, we wrote a script, wrote the pilot, 
and shopped it around, got some great response, but never the deal never came through. So the two of us were out in Los Angeles, and, and I had pitched it to another executive in daytime that said soap opera is a very the temperature. Mm. That was a good word. The but you had this you had this kind of idea brewing yeah. at the same time. Yeah, always. So you're oh, very good at this, been, by the way. <laughs> she's been teasing me. Right. Yeah, like I wanted For to like do something. And so she, like, so you, you, had, you, you had, you, like, you had her in mind the entire time. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. And you knew about this as well. I did. I just didn't know what it was. So right. I was the last one invited to lunch. <laughs> well, we, you're not. The two of us always have stuff going on. No, brewing. No, it, it's not true. Always things brewing. So um, you, you both have amazing families. Do you want to talk about that for a while? Because we don't really talk about our own families all that much. And you know, we're away from our families right now doing this. And I know yes. your, your beautiful Johnny's probably missing you. Right. As, uh, yes, he is. Although and he is how old now? He's five and a half. Five and a half. <laughs> yes. Yes. In what grade? It's Barbara Walters. He's in kindergarten. Kindergarten. Yes. Annabelle started kindergarten Big this shout year out too. To Mrs. Burke. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody's happy and healthy and wonderful. Oh, everybody's good. Um, he misses me so much that right. when I called home during the break, uh, he said, "Hi, Mama," on the phone, right. and then um, we talked for a second and. He thought I had hung up. I said, bye, I love you. And I hear him going, so, Daddy, as I was saying, we're... Oh, <laughs> uh, he's played you. He's yeah. Yeah. That's a great. So you have an inset of, of uh, little Johnny there while we're talking about that. And you're beautiful kids. They're, we, they exited the building for the day. Yeah, but yeah. They, they're rambunctious. I'll give you that. Yes. But the, i got to tell you, these kids have the bluest eyes in the world. Oh and gosh. you have brown eyes. I do. I have green <laughs> eyes. Big, but gre- green. Well, no, they're well, brown It depends today. what you're looking at. Right. <laughs> You know, sometimes you have green, and then sometimes you, anything, be anything, in the anything, fringe. anything goes on the internet. It's like train. a mood ring. It's like a mood ring. She, <laughs> so yeah, but yes. just beautiful. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you. As kids. are yours. Oh, yes. thanks. Fun kids. Well, they're, good they're kids. all right. We have good they're families. Okay. I let them out of the closet. Understanding every once in a while. <laughs> families. Yeah, they're Very okay. Understanding husband that I have that's letting True. us all be here. We have about fifty True. people here right now. And we had, you know, what's great about. The, the people that they have working on this this particular show is that we they're they're able to make a change in a flash. Today is a rainy rainy day. All these scenes were supposed to be shot outside, right? How do you go yesterday about? Was iffy, w- yeah. Yesterday was the big. Yesterday was the was the, was the there were the important outdoor scenes, mm-hmm. but this could have been outdoor doors sure, as well, it was warm. right? Now, what kind of changes do you have to go through? To get all that done, an exterior shot into an interior shot. Well, we literally, Lisa called me on Wednesday and said, "Okay, looks like it's going to be ninety percent chance of rain. We sh- were going to shoot. We were going to shoot all of our exteriors on the, underneath the porch, underneath the awning. We found a gazebo on our neighbor's property. We we're going to shoot some of the scenes there. Uh, no umbrellas because they're too loud. So we were like, okay, we can't use umbrellas. We're going to have to play the rain. You know, we had all these contingency plans going in case it rained, and we didn't have one drop of rain." It was beautiful. It was cold, right. so we were bundled up. There some right. layers going on, but um, it, it was it was the heavens above, right. <laughs> and the heavens above. But, but, we but moving moving the St. Jude's uh, moving the St. Jude's party indoors wasn't even that big of a deal because you got a huge area here too. Right, we cleaned huge. out the whole living room and. And uh, everybody's uh, and the extras are upstairs above in the room above the garage, which well, you could play. Like a- <laughs> oh, hello, you can play bas- <laughs> You can play basketball up there. No, you can play basketball up there. I mean, it's a huge area. You have with to, well, when the, you think, I have the, to ask you a question. What? I can throw a party. Yeah, you can throw a party. Well, so I don't know if like they know that. Throwing a party with cameras. Anybody who's been to her St. Jude's event knows that Martha can throw a good party, but she's doing it sure. this time in her house. And with the extras, you're putting on a show, so you've got to provide food and you've got to provide, you know, the, the drinks and keep everybody I warm love that. and happy. And she's able to do that in it's the fun. room in the room above her garage. Well, which sounds strange, but if you were up there, like I said, you could play basketball up there. Well, I want people to be happy, right? Uh, and everyone's up there watching the Giants. <laughs> everyone's up there watching the Giants. Get them back from lunch. <laughs> But the one thing I learned from working on the short film with the producer that I worked with, she said, if you make your crew, you feed them well, and you make right. them keep them warm, make oh, them happy. What a crew you have. Know, so, okay, wonderful. talk about this. You have the best of all the worlds here working on your show. You've got people from All My Children and ABC. How did you, what, what, did it just take a couple of phone calls? What was it? How did you get them all here? 
It's Martha. Well, no, no, no. How do you think? No, that's yeah. not, no but a lot of people don't know, we don't know each other. There's a lot of people I don't have relationships with, but sometimes you have relationships with the people that have relationships. So it's like the someone else. Six degrees of Martha Byrne. But no, it's, it's a trust thing, you know. It's a trust. It's, somebody says, "Trust me, she'll feed you well. Trust right. me, yeah, she'll right. take care right. of you." You know, I'm not going to screw I mean, anybody over. I want people of, to have fun and enjoy themselves. I guess we can encapsulate that in the one. That everyone trusts you. Yes, a lot and of she people, inspires. She she inspires people to. Um, you know, you, you inspire sort of loyalty and friendship because you sort of are, you know, such a good friend. And, oh, you know, you. I think you just make people want to do anything for you because we know that you would do anything for other oh, people. That's, that's, and that's just, that's, true. that's you in a nutshell. Thank you. <laughs> and there you have it. Aww. Wow. So like I said, <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, wonderful. <laughs> I started out crying, and I leave crying. Oh for uh, for all of us at We Love Soaps. Thank you. Thank you Thank very you much. Support. It's coming soon. Gotham. <laughs> <laughs>